today, once my little assistant brings me the very small solar panels that we've bought, here she comes. Look, you okay there? You a bit big? A bit big. First time she said that. We are going to try and make our solar panels tilt. But we're not going to be buying any sort of fancy tilt mechanism with bells and whistles and all sorts of motors. No. Oh no. We have put fire door safety hinges on one side of the solar. Now these will sit in the uni strut. On the opposite side we're going to have an L bracket with a big knob in it. <laughs> with a big knob in it. And the big knob is going to screw in. I'm trying to be serious here. Sorry. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. It might be a little bit caveman, but it's going to work. Trust me, it's going to take us five minutes. If anyone wants one of these, I'm giving it away free with every subscription. So if we can get through this section without someone laughing like a tit, I will show you what I mean. Right, so the Unistrut is going to run down here. They are Boingers. Star Boingers, right? The Star Boingers go in the Unistrut. They're an 8M thread. We have some 8M stainless steel bolts, which I have pre-drilled the actual hinge, and they will screw into the Boinger. Okay, that's not the technical word for them, by the way, but welcome to the Urban Explorer. So, we need to get this up on the roof in one piece. <laughs> She's got to lift it on the roof. <laughs> this should be mildly entertaining. <laughs> Let's all watch from a distance. I'm going to put you out the way over there while we cause havoc, probably get into an argument, fight, and one of us gets left on the roof. What could go wrong? So welcome to the um, the decking area, the sun lounge as some would call it. I'll show you what we're going to do. So, we've got the ME bolts in the track there. And we're going to put these hinges over the track and bolt into them. Right, so one thing we've got to make sure is that it doesn't interfere with the fan. So if Emma can just put the fan up. That's not going to interfere with the fan. And fan down. So that's in a good position where it is now. Now we can get it bolted to the sides. Right, now to see if the solar tilts. There you have tilting solar. Whoop, whoop. 
Right, now we just need to put some brackets in there, some LA bolts in the side, and we can bolt it down. Right, so now that we've got the solar on the roof, we need to make some brackets that when the solar's down, we can use these guys, little M8 bolts with a handle on, to go through, like that, to attach inside the actual solar panel to keep them safe. What I've done is I've taken a shot glass on these and I've marked out a little archway. And what we're going to do is I've transferred that to all four. And we're going to put them in the vise. I don't think we can cut them with the jigsaw. <clears throat> My grinder is not the best. So we're just going to try and nip the tops off with the angle grinder. Then we'll get on the bench grinder and try and round them off and make them just make them so they're not sharp and pointy because it's kind of dangerous. Then we'll spray paint them black and get them on the roof. First of all, we need to drill bigger holes because them little guys aren't going to take these. So let's get drilling, grinding, rounding, smoothing, making look prettier. The brackets are going to sit like this, bolt through into the solar and keep them nice and secure. I'll show you what I mean. So they're going to sit like that, just raised up, just a little bit like this, bolted into the solar, and that's going to hold the solar panels on and absolutely no problem whatsoever. And then once we undo these bolts, then the solar on the struts will lift up and give us an angled solar. We can get the most of the sun. So. Let's get these brackets in, measure them up, and go for it. So these little spring washers, they just go in, like that, and then they twist, so they're in line with the actual unistruck, because the unistruck curves over, and then we can just push them, right underneath where the bracket is. Take our bolt, go through the unistruck, Fix the back into place. And then there, perfectly secure. And then once we lower the solar down, it fits perfect. So we've marked where we need the rib nut on each side. That one needs to just go just a little bit like that. We can drill them, then put the rib nut in, and then from this side, we've got a big thing that goes in, and then when we want to undo the solar, we undo that one, we undo that one, and then on the gas strut, the solar is then going to lift up. It's just a little bit tight there, so they just need a little bit of a, but that will give in time. The closer they are, anyway, that's going to be better, you know, it doesn't need to be millimetre perfect, but that is fine. Maybe I could do with a plate on the top of there, which I might source, and just to stop that from squishing a bit. Well, for me, that's good. So let's drill them out and get the rib nuts in. Right, so we drill the rib nuts in there, and we drill the rib nuts in there, and we're just going to take this block of wood out, lower the solar, Right, so that's both solar panels that lock down in place, they're going nowhere. What we need to do now is, we need to put the pistons on the side, so when we undo these on the front, the two solar panels will independently lift up in the air at a reasonable angle to get the hot shiny thing. I was going to put gas struts on them, but 
to be honest with you, the ones that I bought were far too strong for the aluminium that is in them. And they were just flying up in the air. You know, it was just ridiculous. So I decided to scrap the gas struts because I did look into getting ones that were specifically made for these weights and this dimensions. And it was coming out of something stupid like £200 for a set of four gas struts, which right now we've got better things to be spending our money on than £200 for gas struts. So I have made these. Just a simple bar that will just screw into the rivet nut that I put in one side of the bar, and then the other end just screws back into the panel. So that is them. So we've got a rivet nut in one end, and then the other end will just literally screw into the actual panel. So to tilt the solar on the van because it's hinged on one side, undo the solar panel both ends then we take one of our bars and we literally we thread one end into the solar panel and then the other end with the rib nut on will thread with the original bolt through there and into the rib nut that is on the end of the bar and then they are going nowhere one of the other problems i found out with the actual gas struts as well is although there was a lot of pressure in them they were quite wobbly in the wind with these on you know the van will tip over before they blow off so as you can see that is the tilt and solar that will do for me looks good it works fine and it functions properly as well and it's also safe so doing the solar panels were quite easy it was just thinking outside the box putting some heavy juicy hinges on it and making it all safe and i am glad that we went with box section rather than actuators or gas struts as well thinking of it it's just less of a hassle it's just less of a problem yeah you might lose a couple of the screwy nuts but you know if a gas strut goes down or an actuator breaks it means sending more electricity to an actuator it's just more problems that you can encounter plus as well the price of gas struts you know is just ridiculous you can get cheap car ones but they're too strong for something like that which is only you know very lightweight it's an aluminium frame with a solar panel on it so it's not really worth the cost in my eyes so don't forget get yourself a van get out there build something amazing and let me know how you get on with it because it's not rocket science it's not that hard it just takes a little bit of thinking and the more you can think outside the box, the better your van will be. Every single van is unique to every single person. Make your van yours. And whatever you do, do it well. See you soon.